Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna to be designing a type and image poster in Adobe Photoshop. And I'm gonna be finishing that off with uh, Black Market's plugin Ink Lab. If you haven't checked that out, definitely go check it out. It's a cool feature that you can do a bunch of halftone textures, bit mapping. I've been really liking it lately. I've been using it in a lot of my poster design and album cover work and a bunch of other stuff. Um, it's really fun to use and I've been getting a little bit of questions about some of the things that I've done with it. So so I want to show you kind of my process on designing posters and then specifically using the Ink Lab extension and just kind of have a little bit of fun. So if you enjoy this video, please make sure to like, comment, subscribe, check out all the links in the description. We got the Discord community, the Patreon, all that good stuff. With that being said, let's get into it. All right, here we go. So to start, I'm actually going to get little shapes going. I'm not sure exactly what I want to do yet. We're going to go to, I'm going to set up some guides here. I think I want to do something like this. Where's my shape? I usually just throw it on like a random color. So it's easier to see. Kind of digging that shit. Took a little longer than anticipated, but I'm gonna go with that for now. Now what I wanna do is go over to probably Unsplash, and kind of find something that I wanna work around. I usually just look through the different categories and see what I like. Bada bing. All right, cool. I'm gonna convert this shape to a smart object. That way I can do some of that. I really like this, this like, I think it's in Russia, but that shit is super clean. The colors are nice. Could be cool to put, pair it with something like this. Put that behind. Let's mask this out real quick. I'll go in and refine it in a bit. I want to create this uh, kind of collage of this mountainscape and then throw this behind it. Let's go in with the, where is it? Object selection for now. There we go. We got to fix that up real quick. With my lasso tool. Don't, don't, don't hate on my mask. We're going to fix that. So we'll figure it out later. Just kind of got to stay loose right now. I think it'll be cool to throw like a little shape right there. Let's put it. I've been liking messing with just flat circles as well lately. So let's do that. Maybe pull one of these colors. That orange is pretty cool. This might be, I don't know if I want that there. We could probably do enough with just this circle. I 
It's kind of cool. Kind of want to bring all these colors a little more cohesive. So what I think I'm going to do is we are going to drop a color look up on all this. Maybe we throw that in the drop blue and see what we got. Bring back some of it a little. 70, throw the two strip, bring down the opacity a little bit. All right, I'm not against that. Let's rock with it for now. I think I'm gonna go ahead and clean up some of this real quick. I think that'll do for now. All right, I don't need this anymore. What do we got next? Now I wanna actually look for some type that I wanna use and kind of the verbiage that I'm gonna go with and everything. Probably need this white background for now. We're gonna add some texture and things to the background. I'm not sure exactly what I'm gonna do, but I've been wanting to get a little bit more fonts lately, so. I'm actually going to go to Adobe Fonts and look for something. I kind of want to break out of some of the ones I've been overusing and like it's good to have those, you know, three to five fonts that you're just are your go to's and you're always ready to use them. But kind of want to experiment with some other stuff. Why am I not logged in? What do I want this to say? I want something related to like peaks or travel or monument but i'm not quite sure those are the exact words i want to use sometimes i'll just go to the thesaurus because i'm kind of dumb and i'll just type in words that i that i know and try to figure out you know what, what would be a little bit more visually interesting monument shrine that's pretty dope. I think we're gonna go with that when we look for our type. I try to do it like this. I try to write each one so I can preview it in the different ways I may use it. All right, let's take a look at some of this. We got this one. And then we got the normal version. Pretty funky, I don't know. So it might be a little too fucked up. Let's mess with that and see if we can get it to work for us. I want to bring this in even more. This is pretty looking pretty big and comparison to some of our other type. I think I want to throw this a little bolder and put like a threshold, like kind of ink bleed effect on it. Filter, throw a Gaussian blur. That's fine for now. And then we want to do a threshold. That looks pretty dope, even on the entire composition. So you're getting kind of that rougher type effect. I'm gonna mess with this a little, probably do it like that. We need a background. There we go. That does good. Shout out kind of type house style and all that. We're going to go to select color range shadows. There we go. We got that there. And then 
I'll just keep these together in case I need them. I can make this any color. Black's fine. Bring in all my other stuff. There we go. I think I want to roughen this up a slightly too. So I'm going to do a similar effect. Dope. Alright, let's bring everything back else in. Kind of dope without the thing even. I think I want to make the sky the color of our background more. All right, now from here, kind of liking this layout and everything. So I'm going to hit up the ink lab and give it a go. So you can download this on Black Market's website. I'll put that in the description. It's not super expensive and it's like pretty powerful. A lot of fun stuff you can do with it. And so it has its own little dialogue box like this. And what I like to do is just like create um, different presets, but I'll start from the beginning right now. So I'm gonna do an advanced mode half tone screen 40 that's the density and that basically is how big the little half tones are going to be all right and then i want to kind of pull some colors i definitely want to use my color from down here what's cool is you can always change them later even after you applied everything let me there we go Grab that color. We'll use that for our, whoa, I didn't even grab it. All right, let's copy that hex code. We're gonna throw it in here. Might need to bring up that saturation a little bit, something like that. The, I want the orange for this part. And then for this, I'm gonna probably do some of this reddish pink. Uh, we'll use the pink we have here, but then throw a little more red in it. So I kind of like those colors. Here on the texture, you can choose different types of paper, all kinds of effects. This is where it gets like really interesting. And one thing I always uh, make sure you have a high quality document high dpi and everything and i usually do 150 or 300 depending on what your computer can handle so these are all the different things they do sharpen roughen wave kind of takes that channel and like moves it to the edge and, and like warps it you can add grain one thing i like doing is um i like either flipping or doing scaling and stuff so like if we want some of this blue to be dominant we'll scale it I want to wave on the orange or on the pink and then probably hmm, we can add some flip to the orange and that'll actually get the channel and just flip it. All right, and we're going to do the entire canvas and then we'll go in and mess with the, some of the channels and stuff after. And I'll usually do this with a couple different settings. I'll try stuff out. I'll make a more clean one that has subtle effects. I'll make an insane one with like everything warped and flipped and stuff. And you know, there's a lot of possibilities really. See, like we got a lot of craziness going on because we hit the flip and the scaling as well. So I'm not gonna really go with this style, but I'll show you how this works. So here's our, our blue channel, our pink, and our orange. So we see that you can tell that that was just flipped and it was scaled. For now, I'm gonna delete this and run through another process. Scale we're gonna take off and we're just gonna leave wave on that and maybe a sharpen on everything. 
This will give us like a nice subtle effect without it getting completely crazy. And what I usually do is I'll go into each channel and move them and scale them slightly. So did you see how it looked with just that orange channel? Sometimes you'll you'll do these and you'll you'll figure out oh it could look cool with just being the simple orange like this. Like I'm loving how this looks. And what's cool about the ink lab is that you kind of get to experiment with it and find stuff like this. Obviously, like I have intentions for what I want things to look like, but sometimes, you know, just like other things, you take a little detour and it turns out better than you expected. So I really like this. We're obviously losing some of the shape we had up top, but it's not a bad version at all. We can see what it would look like. You know, we can even have some of these blacks here and we could even just scale that a little. You know what I want to do actually? I'm going to create a copy of it. And just for our type, I want to give it a little bit of scale like that. Cool little like drop shadow wavy thing. And everything else I'll just mask out. So that's looking pretty cool. I almost want a background though still just for just the back piece. So, all right, that's pretty much it. We got the two JPEGs here. I saved them out. We got the monochromatic and the more like four channel colors. I'm really happy with how they both came out. I really like that typeface we found on Adobe fonts. I feel like this was a good little experiment and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you check out Black Market. The guys over there are super dope. A lot of possibilities. And what I showed you is only like a percentage of the functionalities it has. And if you enjoyed this, please make sure to like, comment, subscribe, join my Discord server, check out the Patreon, all that good stuff will be linked in the description. I really appreciate you guys hanging out and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.